Okay, last part for auto patching and probably the last part for sublays overall. There's been a lot of nuggets on this topic. I hope they have been interesting. So I want to move this arm up to this point and then have a, a certain amount of crease appear. To pull it off is actually very, very simple. Just watch this. I'm currently in the line art sublayer for the lower arm. I'm going to copy all of that, copy and paste it onto the overlay sublayer. In the node network now, I'm going to get an overlay node, take a second thread from this and bring it down onto the very top section. So at the moment, it sort of looks like we've gone back to where we started, but, but if we start erasing the bits where we want it to be seamless, give it a bit of a test as we go. So say maybe there, there we are. Oh, maybe a bit back to there. So now when I start to bend it, it will stay seamless up until that point at which the crease will begin to appear. So that's pretty cool, huh? That's, and it really is that simple. All that's happened here is by having a copy of the line art with certain bits erased on the very top, this overrides what was happening before. The overlay isn't being affected by anything. So I'll quickly recap what's happening in this build because it does look like it's getting a bit more complicated now. On the very bottom layer is the line art for the upper arm. Then we've got a pure instance of the lower arm. Then comes the auto patch for the upper arm so that it's fill overlays that entire thing. And then the overlay goes on top of all of that. So it creates this sort of crisscross motion. We've got certain parts of certain elements interweaving, which creates this effect.